Thanks for inviting us in on this Monday night. So far, Indiana has seen nearly 100 cases of this Delta COVID variant. More cases are probably on the way because these variants spread so quickly. The Indiana State Health Department found 60% of COVID cases they've sampled are some variant of the COVID virus. That's more than 4,700 people. So tonight we want to dig into how effective these vaccines are against these variants. Why doctors are so concerned tonight about the Delta one in particular and what parents need to know about the risk to your kids. The Delta variant is here in Indiana. 98 cases at last count from state health officials. We do know that it's impacting younger people more both across the country and here in Indiana. So let's delve deeper into what you need to know. We talked to Dr. Samina Bumbra, who's part of the Ryan White Center for Pediatric Infectious Diseases and Global Health at Riley Hospital for Children. We asked, why are younger people catching the Delta variant the most? Usually the reason that younger groups are getting, younger individuals are getting the, the variant is because they're less likely to be vaccinated. Um, that's really kind of goes hand in hand in a lot of ways. Our second question, why are health professionals so concerned about this variant? The reason that the Delta variant is of concern is one, because it is more contagious, but two, it leads to more severe symptoms, it's more severe illness, and actually it's more aggressive at causing those symptoms. It happens over a shorter period of time. Lastly, we wanted to know what's the best way to protect yourself from the Delta variant. As more people become vaccinated, the less likely it is for individuals to spread the, vac the virus if they have if there's a cocoon of protection in the community. Marion County health officials have stressed they hope to have 50% of the population vaccinated by July 4th. Right now, Indiana's most populated county is at 39%. Dr. Bumber hopes more people will get in line. Doctors now are hammering home the importance of vaccines more than ever with the spread of this Delta variant. So you might be wondering just how effective are the shots against this strain? Well, doctors say the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines offer good protection against the variant once you get the second dose. In fact, there was a study in Britain and it found the Pfizer vaccine is just as effective at preventing hospitalizations at about 96%. Studies right now are underway to find out how the J&J &J vaccine stacks up. There's just not as much data with that version to work with. Now keep in mind, Dr. Fauci says these spreading variants should not be a concern to people who already are vaccinated, but should be an incentive for people who don't have the shot to sign up and get one. Currently, less than half of the people living here in Indiana have their vaccine. Look at that green area there. That shows about 40% of our state's population is fully vaccinated. So that means that gray area, 60% has not been vaccinated. And when we check the age breakdown, older Hoosiers were more likely to be vaccinated than younger Hoosiers. And that's part of the concern with this Delta variant. Now there are pop-up clinics across Marion County this week to increase the vaccination numbers. In fact, there's a clinic for kids 12 and up over at North Central High School on Wednesday and another one for people 18 and up at the Black Firefighters Association. Anyone who gets vaccinated at one of the health department clinics is automatically enrolled into a prize drawing next month. We have all the dates and times posted for you tonight. Just open up our WTHR app and that wraps up tonight's big story.